Hi everyone. So what I'm going to show you today is how Topsolid can help you communicate with your client to win jobs, with the architect for quicker approvals, and the factory floor for less mistakes and quicker assemblies. So my focus today will be on the drafting and set out bottleneck that you experience and how to improve that. So let's open up a new drawing here. As you can see, it's an uh, oven unit a tall oven unit and if we just brought this to wireframe as you can see we've got door flaps up here and then we've just got a door unit down here with just a cutout. We've also got this unit doweled and cammed so if you, again if you change anything within this unit the machining will be updated. So let's create a set out or a draft page. So let's go to new. Click on our template here. We've got our title block here on the bottom right hand side, which we can modify whenever we need to. But if we just go back to our 3D model, we'll just split the screen so we can see both. So now let's bring in the views. So let's go into assembly here, just click on this unit here, and let's load it in. So here, we can switch it to front elevation. We can turn on our shaded view. Hidden lines or solid lines. Maybe click on hidden lines. And let's press OK. And bring it in, like so. Let's right click now and let's bring in our plan. Our end elevation. And maybe our axle view as well. Now, once we've placed it in, we can then move that, of course, to a different location. And now let's create a few other options here. Maybe a section, full section, right through this here, vertical or horizontal. Let's create a vertical here. Now, let's switch a view so it's looking to the right. And let's just press OK. Perfect. Now let's bring that out and as you can see we've got our hatch in, we've got our detail within this drawing. Now let's also create as maybe a detail. So here, click on this button here, let's say we want to create a detail here. Maybe a circle. And let's leave top solid, do the heavy lifting for you and create that detail as usual. Now, we want to modify maybe a few of these. This is a bit too small, I think. So let's increase the size here. Let's um, click on this unit here. And let's actually turn on our solid line so we can see what's going on inside this unit. Of course, if you want to create details up here for our flap hinge, we can do so as well. So click on that reference. Let's just click and create a circle here. There we go. And let's bring that out. Now what we can also do with this detail is if I moved it around this circle, it will instantly update the detail here. It's that simple. So what next? Let's create a few dimensions. So let's go to our detail first from here to here. There we go. If we say the overall, maybe from here all the way over here, just pick your lines, pick your points. It's that easy to assign dimensions. We can assign it to curves here as well, of course, or radiuses. So there you go. It assigns it for you. What about over here? We might assign it to the inside here, to the inside here. We might even assign it from the inside to the very external. you're getting the idea. So even if we clicked on a diameter for a screw, we can still pull that out as well. What about text? Let's sign a text with a leader. So this is pretty self-explanatory, I think. If I typed in maybe, for instance, here, this could be called oven unit. Type it in. Let's press OK. Let's assign it maybe to here. And let's 
click to there. Then, of course, if you move this around, there we go. So you could present that to an architect, of course, this information, and it's as simple as what I've shown you already. Now, if we make any changes to our 3D model here, as I'll show you right now, it'll automatically update on our draft page. As you can see here, it's now changed to 200. So it updates the dimensions as well, so it doesn't delete them or get rid of them. Now, what we can also do is change the height. So let's change this height from 2200 up here to 1900. So as you can see, it's modified the unit to suit that change within my 3D model. Now, what we can also do is create an extra draft page. So let's go to our tools, drawing. Let's click on maybe this drawing here. We can go to A3, A4. We can say vertical. Let's click on vertical. Press OK and let's bring it in here, right next to our original. On this draft page, we can create an exploded view. Open it up here. This exploded view will really be for the factory floor so that they can understand what they've got to, how it's going to be put together, the unit. So let's go to Simplified here and create a brand new file. Let's say Spherical Explosion. Press OK there. Center might be here. And let's explode it out. Now, what we can do is we can save that as a separate unit. Exploded assembly, save over that. And let's go back into my draft page. So let's bring in that view, that exploded view. So we'll pick our drawing, pick on an assembly, exploded assembly. So you don't have to be going file open or anything like that and trying to look for it. It's just from that pull down menu. We can look on our shaded view, press OK, and let's bring that in. Here we go, our exploded view. It's as simple as that to create an exploded view. What about next? Let's bring in a bill of materials. So we can pick from the template here. Just press OK. Click on maybe the draft page. Click on the view that we want to create a bill of materials from. It means that we can get more information on each individual part, even on the pins and the dowels and the hardware and the edging that we get from this unit. We can also assign indexes automatically to this unit by simply clicking on the view. And it's going to assign it as according to my bill of materials down here. We also might just modify this viewport and scale it down. We can even turn off parts and layers in our draft page. So if we go to our exceptions here, click on maybe six, we might want to turn off the oven, you know, the appliances here, get rid of them. There we go, modified. Same with this here. We can click on this and accept it. So there you have it. This is how you can create detailed drafts in Top Solid as easily and quickly as I've shown you today. So you can better communicate with your client to win jobs, architects for quicker approvals, and for factory floor for less mistakes and quicker assemblies. So if you're interested, give us a call. Bye now.